The peak hurricane season here in Queen Anne's County is September and October. We want to explain the evacuation process in the case of a serious hurricane. Well, if it's a full-blown hurricane, let's say it's coming up the bay and we predict landfall in or around Queen Anne County, we're going to order a uh, mandatory evacuation. Now when I say that, some people are still going to stay home, but we're going to, we are going to try very hard to persuade everybody to take what they need, uh, family members, their pets, medications, again, grab your go kit, make sure you're ready to leave and leave the area because you're not only competing with the traffic in Queen Anne County, but the entire Eastern Shore. People are coming off, depending again where the storm comes in, they could be coming out of the uh, northern part of uh, Eastern Shore, Virginia. Delaware is coming through here and everybody's going to head for the, for the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. The problem with that is if you don't get out soon enough, due to wind restrictions, the br bridge could be closed then that would force traffic up 301 into Delaware where everybody might be coming the other way. Again, depending on the scenario of the storm. Uh, some other emergencies, uh, tornadoes, uh, chemical problems, uh, chemical release from radiation transportation, we might just order a shelter in place, meaning stay at home, do not go outside, close all, keep all your windows and all your doors shut until we declare that it's, it's deemed safe again. So you would find the safest place in the house. If it's a tornado, obviously you're gonna find shelter in your basement if you have one. If not, you're gonna look for the most center room in the house, keep the windows closed. Uh, usually it's the bathroom and get in the tub and protect yourself that way. For more information, you can visit qacdes.org. For QAC TV, I'm Mallory Drummond.